Happy Wednesday, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I wanted to ask you guys uh, your opinion real quick on the series right now with potential changes. So, I've been thinking and... At the minute, obviously, you guys know how we do this series. Uh, for 20 minutes, we'll scroll down to it, we'll talk about the teams, and we'll give advice on what we think of the teams. Now, I was thinking for upcoming episodes, we go back to the old format where I'll pick out 10 or 15 teams myself. I'll individually handpick the teams I think could do with the most work and the most upgrades. Um, and we talk about those teams, showing you guys different uh things you could do with the teams. I'm wondering if you guys think that's uh, a better way to do, the, to do the series or whether you just prefer me scrolling aimlessly down to it. Because to be honest, I feel like right now, teams are so similar. With everyone's team, it's so similar. A lot of people that genuinely need help are missing out. For example, we're looking at Jack's team here. There's nothing you can prove for 300k. Like, it may be improve Varon, but it's a prime Varon, realistically. Whereas there might be people that get lost in the, in the uh, episodes that actually need help with FIFA and actually need help with their teams. So let me know down below if you want the current format or you want to change the format to what it used to be. I'm happy with either. I just want to make sure that we get uh, as many of you guys happy as possible with the episodes. Um, so let me know in the comments down below. I also just want to quickly flex my fully untradeable Bundesliga team. How I've managed to accumulate this, I do, well, I do know actually, it's a lot of upgrade packs, but this team is looking incredible. Uh, let me know down below if you think I should take this into Weekend League as well. We might have to stream some Weekend League on Friday um, and I'll take this team into the Weekend League and we'll see how it performs. Because some of these cards, by the way, every single player is untradeable. We packed them all in the player picks or did the SBCs. Um, I'm thinking about, it could look pretty good. You know, this team could perform pretty well. All right, we're done flexing. We're checking out Jack's team first. He says, all untradeable, 300k to spend. This team is a really good team. Uh, I am guessing you play a 4-2-3-1 in game. Uh, like I said earlier, realistically, the only upgrade you can really be making in this team is trying to get a replacement for Veron. With 300k, that's pretty much impossible. I would say your next upgrade, just focus on upgrading your center mid Veron to a better version of Veron, realistically. Twitter's update also makes it a little bit harder to see um, some of these images, so I've had to move everything over that way. Uh, next one comes from James. says, Hi, Haber. Can you rate and improve my team? I've got a 300,000 coin budget and everyone's untradeable except for Kovacic and Mares. Love the vid, man. Keep up the good work. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Let's check it out. So, guessing this is one of the in games. Uh, this is how you start, and that's the bench. Oh, this is how you start, and that was the bench. Um, this is a nice team, to be honest. Uh, with 300,000 coins, what would I improve realistically? Um, with 300k, I think... Honestly, I don't think Zambrotta at, right, at left back off chem is the best shout. I think that winter refresh shoots would be a better option as your left back. Uh, I think it's a good card. I think that you can definitely um, you can definitely have an upgrade here. I think he's got better pace. He's got nice stats in game. I did use this card for a little while. Uh, I thought it was a decent card, so I think that it could be a decent card for you to use. Um, also, looking at the team, Ndidi off chem. I'm not a big fan. I'm just debating whether or not there's anything you can do here realistically to get full chemistry and i don't know if there is um yeah there's there's not really any way you can get full chemistry on this um so i guess you kind of keep ndd on eight chemistry uh the rest of the team though looks really really good i'm a big fan of the rest of this team i honestly don't think that you really improve anywhere else uh obviously see what you get in rewards see if you get something decent something worth putting into the team and if not then you just go again next week and you wait. I think that right now during team of the season, we're in a perfect time where, um, you know, we, we got a lot of stuff happening every single week. We've got guarantee packs. We've got rewards. We've got upgrade packs. Eventually, you probably will hit something that will go into your team and that will make uh, the biggest difference in my opinion. So next one coming from Ben, who says everyone except for Robbo and Samedo are untradeable. I'm thinking about buying headline and Samedo. I have 200,000 coins at the minute. Any other upgrade ideas? Let's check it out. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Cliver? No, no, no. Not a fan of Cliver at all. I'll be honest with you, that normal Semedo will do a job of right back, in my opinion. I think he'll still be a decent right back. I don't think it's worth realistically um making the change. I think with that 200k, if you can put that into getting a better striker, obviously Cliver is untradeable. I think we packed you that Cliver on stream as well, if I'm not mistaken, Ben. Um, but I think that. You can start saving up now for a better striker, and I think it'll be way better suited than, uh, obviously, um, the upgrade in Semedo. So I would say, 
Uh, by the way, GG on the red Van Dyke. That's incredible. I would say, yeah, save up your coins for a little bit longer. There's a lot of good right, uh, good strikers right now, good icon strikers that are pretty cheap. Um, and a, a card I like to recommend to a lot of people for a very cheap uh, icon striker who performs really well in game, in my opinion, is is most versions of Michael Owen. 114k for this version, 188k for the Prime version. The stats in game, I know he only has three star skill moves, but he's actually a very good card in game. Um, he's got really nice stats in terms of dribbling, in terms of pace, in terms of shooting. Um, and just his his overall attacking presence is really good. So this is a decent card. And you can also probably stretch uh, a little bit further and get the Prime Moments version, which is about 200k more and also a really, really good card. Michael Owen, in my opinion, uh, is one of those cards that I only got to find out how good it was because of draft but i'm glad that i did because he's actually really good in game the next one coming from logan who says start the first one and change into the second one in game all untradeable with about hundred thousand coins uh we'll save if i need to let's check it out okay all untradeable nice okay you got some good untradeables that richarlison is ridiculous in game like i cannot stress enough how good that richarlison is in game and you guys that have used richarlison you will all know exactly what i'm talking about if you've played against him whether you've used him it's ridiculous how good that card is in game. Uh, I would say weak point wise, um, I think Casemiro is definitely a weak point. Um, I think that the rest of the team is pretty strong. Like I said in, in previous, I don't think it's really worth upgrading that Nelson Tomato uh, right now. And I think we will probably get some SBCs eventually. That will help out anyway. Um, now, the difference being, there is actually probably a cheap option that you could use over here for your Nelson Tomato. Um, now, looking at him the other day, I don't know how cheap this card actually is. Now, if you, this is only if you want to really want to upgrade this card. Uh, realistically, you only need a Brazilian. For 57k, it's not bad. You know, I don't recommend spending 300k upgrading Semedo to his headliner. But for 57k, that's not the worst in the world, if that's something you're really interested in. Uh, I would also say Casemiro, not the world's best card. Uh, I think there's a lot of different options you go with. However, um, he's got really good defensive stats. So I think that whilst he's maybe not the world's best, I think that until you can get yourself a 300-400k card, um, I wouldn't bother upgrading it massively just yet because there's probably no point. Another cheap option if you're really looking for one, though, um, could be this Anselmo card. Um, this is a pretty cheap option, a really good-looking card for 51k um, and would fit with the Mariano as well um, if you're looking for a better CDM. Like I said, defensive-wise, Casemiro is probably trumping most CDMs in the game. However, for all-round play, I would honestly say this Anselmo card is better than Casemiro. Um, so with 100,000 coins, they're probably the two upgrades I'd recommend to you. It's it's completely up to you whether you take that advice or not. But yeah, I'd say definitely those two upgrades could work pretty well in the team. Uh, the next one coming from Sondre, um, who said, I've got 100,000 coins. The tradables are Visca. I'm thinking of buying Soyun Chu to keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. Um, so you're starting with this, and then in-game you're playing this. Now, interesting. Um, huh. Very interesting indeed. This is a really, really weirdly built team. It's not a bad team though. It's not bad by any means. It's just a strangely built team. Um, what I think about this team is Gattuso and Witzel will do a job at CDM. I'm not the biggest fan of Gattuso this year, but he'll do a job. Um, I like to call him Gold Tuso because typically you find that when you upgrade your Gattuso to like, for example, a Vieira or something, you're going from being like a gold two to an elite player. Um, I know that doesn't make any sense and it's not actually true. It's just the way that I, uh, me in the, in the stream look at it a lot. So if you're part of the Twitch chat, you'll obviously understand the joke. Uh, by the way, that's not an insult to gold two players. I finished gold two myself this week, just saying. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, with this team, what I'm thinking is like, realistically for hundred K, there's no improvement you can make in this team. Um, the weak points, the points you should look to improve eventually. Uh, San Sanchez, you know, he can hit the road. Um, I know you said you're thinking about buying Soyuncu. Can you afford Soyuncu though? Because if not, you're going to have to save towards him. Um, just about. Yeah, I'd say get Soyuncu then over Sanchez. Um, eventually, upgrading Hierro will be a decent shout as well. His prime moments is not that expensive. It's like 400k. That's not a lot. A lot of people seem to think that 400k is a lot of coins. If you play the game, adv like if you, if you, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like if you play the game a lot and you you grind the menus a lot, whether you trade a lot, whether you are smart with your coins, for example, susos and and things like that are about nine thousand coins right now. If you have any suso, if you have a suso in your club, sell him. Uh, a lot of right wings and left wings over eighty rated are about eight to nine k right now because the SBC. Same with uh, off league. 
um, center backs, the same with same with popular nation center backs, stuff like that, uh, due to new SBCs. If you are smart and you are you constantly clear out the club, whether you sell your consumables and stuff, that isn't a lot of coins. You can make a lot of coins if you are a very uh, advanced FIFA player and you play a lot and you, you're you know in tune with the game. Um, so I would say, uh, you know, his prime moments card is definitely a big upgrade in my opinion. Um, looking at the card, I think I packed him actually. Uh, looking at the card, he's about four, 390k and he's got really nice stats. And then you put on, I don't know, an anchor. It's going to be a phenomenal center back in game. 99 defending, 94 physical and 80 passing. Uh, sorry, 80, pay, 80 pace. Um, I, I, I see what you've got here and I see that, that you've got, you know, a, a chemistry imbalance here. I think that Musonda is a very nice card, and I wouldn't bother, realistically, uh, trying to get Vitzel on full chemistry here when Musonda is a good card to get, and for the price, is going to be a really good card in your team. I wouldn't bother too much about Vitzel being off chemistry. Um, so yeah, that's what I would recommend with your team. Uh, I think it's a good team, though. I think it's well built. Next one coming from Kian, who says, Hey Haber, this is my team and what I play in game. Everyone is untradeable apart from fullbacks and Adama. I'll have 150k after rewards, but I'm willing to save. Thanks and keep up the great work, man. Hey, much love, dude. Hey, I respect it as well. The uh the 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 Wolves, Adama, and Jimenez. I respect it. Um now with this team, what would I say? Huh. I like the team. Your backline is the best backline in the game. Like, like realistically, um, Maybe Alfonso Davies is better than Robbo by a by a small margin. Maybe um, Hakimi's better than Trent, or maybe Wamba is better than Trent in game. But like, you will never have to change your backline, and I would recommend never changing your backline ever. Even off like eight chemistry for Edema, he's still insane. He's phenomenal. So I would never change your backline. Your midfield is also absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. Uh, I don't think Kovacic as a cam works though. I think that you are better off. Replacing Kovacic with somebody else. Now, uh, you'll have 150k after rewards, but you're willing to save. I would say a card you can save towards that's going to make a massive difference in your central cam is going to be the Shapeshifter Mares card. Um, he's 190,000 coins, so he, you're going to be about 40k off. If you get a little bit lucky in packs, maybe you get towards that. Um, in my opinion, it's a central cam way better than that Kovacic card. I get why you put Kovacic there as a red pick. I, you know, if I was in your shoes, I probably would try him as well at, at central cam. The only reason why I'm not a big fan, first of all, high high for me never works as a central cam. Um, he's got really nice stats, don't get me wrong. He's just way more defensive than he is offensive. 70 finishing um, doesn't really help the card a lot, especially so if you're getting, for me, my central cam usually gets into the box a lot for shots. It's, you're going to really struggle there. Um, you're going to struggle a lot. Uh, he'll be good on the ball though, and good with passing, but I would highly recommend Chechi Tamarez over that Kovacic. And then have Kovacic as a super sub, maybe. Replace Mariano, maybe, with Kovacic as a super sub. Because um, as a as an offensive CDM, he would be phenomenal, I think, in the setup. But the rest of the team is really, really nice. Um, I like it a lot, and I think it's a really, really good uh, team and a really good setup, mate. Um, the next one coming from uh, Oliver. I know it's not a hasty screenshot, but I'll accept it anyway. Um, just because, why not? Uh, I have no coins, but I can save. I can make 38k a week as I'm in Div 10 and I can't do champs. All the books except for Gomez. I got Zambrotta from the Prime Pack. That's pretty decent, to be fair. Zambrotta's not a bad pull. You did you did the 87 Militao. You got sucked into the trap. And unfortunately, you're going to pay the price because it wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. And I'm going to stress this enough to you guys. If you are debating doing the 87 Militao, don't. It is a trap. It's a money sink. The... The, the 90 version, realistically, you're not you're not that far away if you can afford the 87 version. Realistically. Let's look at both of them. So the 90 version is 556. This one's about half the price, roughly. 276. Almost identical in terms of... Uh, almost exactly half the price, sorry. It's not worth not getting this card that has such a, a huge boost in stats. Plus 6 pace, plus 6 dribbling, plus 4 defending, plus 4 physical... If you can afford this, you've basically got half of this SBC completed already. Wait a couple more weeks. Get some more fodder. Get some more coins together. You can get the 90. I would not do the 87. And, uh, even if you're thinking, all right, I need it for weekend league. There's no point. Now, this team is honestly a bit of a mess right now. Um, you've got a lot of plays and a lot of positions that don't really make a whole lot of sense. For example, Jury up top. I'm a little bit confused. Um, you've got Littman and, and Ozil as your two midfielders. Again, I'm a little bit confused. Um, I'm guessing maybe you try and play like two CDMs, like Fred and Hendo as CDMs. But again, like this team confuses me a little bit. I would say... Try and upgrade that Joe Gomez. Try and upgrade that Giroud. That Giroud has got to go. Um, and I would say 
watch some tutorials on FIFA. Watch how people play. Watch how people uh, uh, defend. Watch sort of the players people are using and how and, and the formations and tactics they're using. Because you've got a lot of players on basic chem styles. Get your chem styles used. Get them optimized. And try and, and build some ability in FIFA in terms of learning new play styles. Learning new formations. Because I think that you'll massively benefit from learning uh, new play styles, new formations, new tactics and things like that. And you'll start to realize yourself as Giroud is not good enough in attack. Joe Gomez can be improved. Uh, Eder Melitao off chemistry maybe and Zabrata off chemistry maybe not the best idea. I need to use more than basic chem styles. I think that um, there's a lot of fantastic YouTubers and streamers out there. FIFA Analyst is a very good one. I highly recommend him. Um, so yeah. That's what I would say, Oliver. But good luck and uh, and keep grinding, bro. Um, and thank you for submitting your team. The next one coming from Mateen, who says, I have 550k. I've got no clue what to do with my team. I would love to see what you think. Keep up the great work. Hey, much love, dude. Um, let's check it out. You've got no clue what to do with your team. All right. Well, I would say, first things first, get yourself Winter Refresh Ariolo in net. Gets the, uh, the weak link to Kante as well. I would then say start crafting that Marcus Alonso left-back card. It's not the most expensive card in the game. For a card that you will probably have as your left-back for the rest of the game. Why is night mode not enabled here? Um, 259k. Never expires for a, an end-game left-back, in my opinion, is not a bad price to pay. Um, get yourself him at your left-back spot. Get the strong link with Kante. You've got a full chemistry defense. I would also say get Griezmann as that. You probably... You know, you probably already know, but Griezmann being left mid will help out a lot. I would say then, with your coins, how much is this card going for these days? Is he still massively, massively inflated? 400k. If you can save up towards getting this card at striker, this Mason Greenwood at striker, I think that he will bounce off uh, Thierry Henry really, really well. It's a really good card in game. He's got the five-star weak foot. I think he'll play really well in game. You could go for that, and I think you'll have a very good strike force there with uh, with this team. I think this team will be pretty well balanced then as well. Uh, Henry is good on the ball. So is Mason Greenwood, and I think that uh, it's a little bit biased as a United fan, but I think Mason Greenwood is a phenomenal striker in game. Um, he's really, really good with... Uh, with his with both feet and and shooting wise and stuff like that and i think considering the meta of this game i think you'll uh you'll actually benefit quite well from him now you also got gold two rewards in champs so could get a good rich which could which could could get a good red which could change the team i can't even speak right now well yeah if you get a good red that changes the team maybe get yourself a german uh and then you're going to be playing um the cruise over over anyone else and getting the links there that might also work um but sort of see what you're doing in champs they're my recommendations though um and good luck with the team my friend uh next one coming from uh have i got i've just, I've just been pushed up to the top haven't i we've got liam's team now he says would you recommend this team if not who would you improve keep the great content thanks bro I'd, I'd recommend everything oh i'm guessing you play it wow okay just went out of chilling there. i'm guessing you're playing i'm guessing you're swapping um saul and Kazola. i mean realistically Kazola can start a cam anyway it's not going to change chemistry in any way whatsoever uh yeah i'd recommend this team i think it's a very good team um uh yeah i think this team is oh wait you play if you're gonna play soul at cam aren't you saul saul you play soul at cam because you got gold too so Nah, I don't think this guy's a cam, to be honest. Um, you've already done the SBC, obviously. Don't think this guy is a cam. Again, hi, hi. Don't think it works. I would say, realistically, a card you could actually craft towards that wouldn't be the worst card in the world. Again, it's it's, it's all about crafting and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be this foot birthday, Rodrigo. And then you can play uh, Goethe as your cam. because uh, Well, I mean, you've got Ronaldo at top. But this card wouldn't be the worst card in the world to craft towards uh, to get the Spanish links. It wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, but I just wouldn't play Saul at Cam, to be honest. I don't think he's... he's rec like, uh, everything else about the team is great. Saul at Cam, not a big fan. Uh, the next team coming from Matt, who he says, just want a rating out of 10. Was in the last video, so just want a rating. No worries, Matt. Uh, rating out of 10, I would give you a solid 8 out of 10. I think PK... Uh, Diego Costa, Kubo, um, Dejeni, all could be improved massively. Um, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10, mate. Uh, the last one for this episode, I think, yeah, we're good on time. Last one for this episode is going to be Shakir's team. Oh, well, I've already shown Bob's now, so we're going to have to show Bob's as well. Uh, the second to last one is going to be from Shakir, who says, getting Busquets on Thursday, only tradables are Aaron Mabasaka, uh, in the concepts. I'm getting the third team. Let's check it out. I'm guessing you just want a rating then if you are 100% getting this team. I mean, it's a nice team, to be fair. How is that James Madison playing in game? I love how you got the Leicester lads up there. Um, it's a nice team. I like it. I think it's a very good team. I think you're gonna you're gonna play really well with it, to be honest, mate. Uh, and just let me know how that how that James Madison is rating out of ten. I give it a nine out of ten. 
Um, the reason why he's not a 10 out of 10, wan is not his team this season. I think he can get a better version of uh, Van Dijk in the future, and Busquets has like 50 pace. Yikes. Um, but apart from that, it's a really well-built team. And the last one coming from Bob, who says, all first own players except for Adama and Lloris. I've got 50k, love the vids. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, let's check it out. Wow, this is actually a really good team, especially all first owners. This is a really nice team. I like this a lot. Um, realistically, improvements-wise, if you get lucky in rewards and get yourself an upper Mencano, get him over that Puyo. But apart from that, this team is... Wait, that is upper Mencano. Wait a second. Upper Mencano, the one with the... Wait... No way did he have... He had the SBC as well. No, he didn't. That isn't Upper Mankana. That's Konate. Bro, they confuse me, bro. They're like, honestly, it all confuses me. He did get the SBC, but it wasn't that one. Right. Yeah, like I said, if you get this card in rewards, bang him in over Puyol. Um, apart from that, I think the team is really, really nice. Uh, thank you for submitting it. Thank you all for submitting the teams. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think about the format and if, it, if you think I should change it. Uh, massive thank you all for the epic support recently. Uh, I really appreciate all the all the nice comments and stuff like that. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and I hope you're all doing well during this current time and, and what's going on in the world. So thank you all for the epic support. I'll see you lads later.